James was one of the best I've ever watched and had the opportunity. I'm playing behind him, and I'm watching him do these things, you know, and he was just, he was an entertainer. That's what he was, man. He could entertain you, you know. Everybody got the feeling. WGBH, expecting to catch Sir Lawrence Olivier's production of Chekhov's Uncle Vanya, you were probably more than a little surprised to see James Brown tearing up the stage of the Boston Garden. <laughs> It was like when the Beatles were on Ed Sullivan. I mean, it was a monumental event. During the first hour, it was so clear from the reports coming in from the police that this concert was like magic. The city was, was quieter than it would have been on an, on an ordinary Friday night. Never let, never, <sighs> never mind. Skip the probably there was some more performance here. Happening. Nobody was on the street. We have a special announcement we'd like to make here at this part, ladies and gentlemen. We just got a report. We'd like to announce that the city is very quiet and calm. And the report also states that everyone is home watching the TV program. So I think uh, the fact that we do have the television cameras here, I think it was a big success. How about a big round of applause for the staff of the city? Thank you very kindly. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Here is the man with the world's famous flames, Mr. Please, Please, Please himself! everywhere, and there is wide scattered violence. Stokely Carmichael, the black power militant, urged Negroes today to avenge Dr. King's death in the streets. Get guns, he said. We have to retaliate for the execution. Gonna dig the drums, too. Across America, reports of rioting were nearly universal. The lone exception, Boston. James Brown's magic was working. But as the concert neared the end, and Brown launched into his legendary cape routine, emotions threatened to spill over. Please, please, please. 